Huge news. The FDA cleared the first blood-based in vitro diagnostic test for Alzheimer's disease, a major milestone for patients and clinicians. There are several laboratory-developed tests on the market that can detect blood-based biomarkers associated with Alzheimer's, namely amyloid beta and tau. Some of those tests are very good, but this is the first one cleared by the FDA. Others likely will follow. The new test can be used to help diagnose Alzheimer's, but it's not a standalone tool. And it's also not a screening test. It's designed to be used in patients who have cognitive symptoms and want to know whether they have Alzheimer's. Basically, it's intended to be used in conjunction with clinical evaluations or additional tests. In the last few years, the FDA approved two monoclonal antibodies to treat Alzheimer's disease, lecanemab and denanemab. Those drugs work by clearing amyloid beta from the brain and showed modest effects on slowing down cognitive decline in clinical trials. But they also carry serious risks, including possible brain edema or bleeding, especially for people who carry certain genes. Some people died after treatment. To qualify for these drugs, the FDA requires that a patient has evidence of abnormal amyloid. Often patients get a spinal tap or a PET scan to determine this, but now they can know with a needle prick. Because the new drugs work by clearing amyloid, you don't want Want patients to take them if their cognitive problems stem from something else, like vascular dementia. You don't want to subject them to the risks associated with these drugs if there's no possible gain. The FDA based its decision on a study of plasma samples from adults who were cognitively impaired. The results were validated against amyloid PET or cerebrospinal fluid tests and showed a 92% positive predictive value and a 97% negative predictive value. There are still some unanswered questions about how to use this and other Alzheimer's blood tests, but some of those questions will be answered this summer when the Alzheimer's Association presents its clinical practice guidelines for using blood tests at its annual meeting.